Okay, so in this uh, in this video, we're going to solve one of the practice problems, and um, the practice problems is basically uh, I forget the actual actual question, but it's question four or question three on the practice problem. And um, what I've done there is I've defined something called a harmonic series. A harmonic series is defined as uh, uh, let's say h of n is equal to is equal to the summation of all i's going from one to n of 1 over over i. This is basically what my harmonic series is. So if I pass in some sum integer n, you should basically give me out the summation, the summation of every single term in this series going all the way, all the way up to up to up to n. Alright, so if I were to expand this out, if I were to expand this out, it's going to look like something on the lines of uh, when, when i is actually 1, when i is 1, this might be the first first term in the series. Then I'll have plus one over two, plus one over three. So remember, this is when i is equal to one. When i is one, this is one over one. And because there's a summation here, I plus up with the next item in my series. When i is two, when i is two, this is going to be one over two. When i is three, is one over three. All the way up to all the way up to one over n. All right, and um, this is of course this is all equal to h of n just expanding it out. And my question is solve this using recursion. Alright, so with recursion again the two basic ideas are can I um, can I solve this where I can uh, can I first thing do I even have a terminating clause? Do I even have a base clause? And a base clause is a clause of my recursion solution which can be solved non recursively and then I need something that is a non non base clause or a recursive part. So if I can get my problem formulated into these two two parts, I can then solve my original h of n. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm first going to say h of n, whatever this h of n is, is actually equal to one. Is equal to one when when my n my n is actually actually equal to one. So think about this. If I if I take this original expression, and if I try to, if I try to solve this for h of one, so if I take this and I solve for h of one, what is this going to be equal to? This is going to be equal for all i's going from one to one of one over i, which is nothing but one over one when i is equal to one. Meaning this is entire thing is equal to is equal to one. So h of n. To solve for h of n when n is 1, it can be solved using non-recursion. Nowhere in the solution, nowhere in the solution I'm using recursion. Okay, so this piece, this entire piece over here is basically my base case. Or the non, the non-recursive, non-recursive case. Alright, now what if n is not 1? Alright, so now I'll say that h of n, h of n equal to, alright, what is this equal to when n is not 1? So let's put a condition here, let's put a constraint. The constraint is that now it's looking for these n's, these n's that are actually, that are actually greater than 1. Okay, for n's that are greater than 1, what is my h of n going to look like? Going back to this, going back to this expansion here. If I look at this expansion here, and if I look all of these terms starting from, let's say starting from the very first term, going to one term just before this. So what is the term just before one over n? The term just before one over n is going to be is going to be plus plus one over n minus one. That's a term just before one over n. All right, can I somehow club this? Can I somehow club this entire thing? Entire thing. What is this entire thing going to be clubbed into? Well, this entire thing is nothing but the nothing but I can just call, call this entire thing as uh, let me use a different color here. Uh, this entire thing is nothing but h h of n minus one. Okay. So to find h of n is nothing but equal to whatever is h of n minus one plus plus whatever is the remaining piece in my problem. The remaining piece is 1 over n. So plus, I'll just take that 1 over n as it is. 
and put it over there. So what is h of n equal to when n is actually greater than 1? Well, this can be solved using recursion. And solving this recursion, I'm going to say this, this, this entire thing is equal to is equal to h of n minus 1 plus plus 1 over n. All right. This is the mathematical definition of my of my harmonic harmonic series here. Now you can take this idea, you can take this thing in the pink in the in this in this in this pink bubble here, and you can easily put it in in in, in Python. And I can write a function called harmonic series that takes in an n, and I'm just going to write a condition statement that if n is equal to one, return return one. Else, if n is actually greater than one, then I'm going to return back whatever is h of n minus one plus one over n. All right, so I highly encourage you to take this to take this intuition that I've presented here and try to formulate it in 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 Python.